Salamta Taina Taina is telling Greetings my brothers and sisters brothers. Shalom. Shalom And one of the elders said unto me Weep not Behold what? The lion of the tribe, the of, lion Judah. Of, the tribe of Judah The root of David Has prevailed He had won He did not die He did not get crucified He had prevailed Jesus prevailed To do what? To open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. You see? Okay, let's touch on the sign of practicus. Something called the sign of practicus, uh, often referred to as the hands of his imperial majesty. Many have speculated on what exactly is the meaning of some say a masonic this is a masonic hand sign some say it's a mystical hand sign but most just conjecture most just speculate and most of them differ in exactly what is the meaning of the sign because this particular hand sign of his imperial majesty was very interesting besides the so-called mystic and kabbalistic and certain masonic circles who for years hundreds of years were up in africa were up in egypt they were up in Palestine, they went around the world to the ancient Aztecs and Mayas, and they stole, speaking about global white supremacy, or the Europeans, the white Western nations, but global white supremacy, they stole from various cultures. A little bit here, a little bit there. We see it today with the yoga phase and organic foods and all of this. But the sign of practicus, this is what this particular sign is known amongst those counterfeit orders they call this the sign of practicus but it's kind of interesting when you start to do a little bit more study about it you will see how this particular sign of his imperial majesty that many say is a masonic hand sign we see a lot of it today but at the time of his imperial majesty or prior to his imperial majesty i i dare say bring forth your documentation evidence of the so-called masons and illuminati doing this hand sign. We don't have any proof of this. Even when you go through the Masonic books, you understand, bring forth the proof of this particular hand sign. So we see this particular hand sign of Edomawi Haile Selassie, of Abu Kedusa's Imperial Majesty being very unique to his Imperial Majesty. And what we understand now by studying even some of the so-called Golden Dawn, the Hermetics, and in different so-called European mystery schools and lodges where they became Speaking of the white folks, the pale man, they became acquainted with, the Gentiles now became acquainted with the so-called occult knowledge and mysteries of the ancient East. In other words, with our lost, you understand, data, with our lost documentation and data, you understand? Now, when you study this, I'm going to bring up this, let's bring this up right here so you can see this. This is from, I think, the Practicus, a Practicus document that's out there. And it says under strength. So they're saying this is not a connection with this particular hand sign of his imperial majesty. According to those so-called counterfeit European hermetic schools and mystic and mystery and illuminati and masonic schools. That have stolen these knowledges and twisted the meanings. You understand? But this is very interesting. This is the principle here. It says this particular sign, the number is eight. And it's a particular sign of strength. It says this sign, this practical sign of his imperial majesty is mercy, symbolic of mercy, tempering severity. Now this is getting into some so-called Kabbalistics and so forth and so on. But you have to understand that what Geta Jesus Christus, what I don't know, Yehoshua HaMoshiach, you understand in the very Gospels, the Wengel is giving us is the true 
Kabbalah, the true Kabbalah. This is why Jesus Christus repeats, and many of you, if you don't know Hebrew, you probably have read this in English, where he says, he who can receive it, let him receive it. And then for those who are able to receive it, he who had the ear to hear, let him hear. You understand? To hear what the Spirit says for the one who can receive it. He who receives you, receives me, and receives the one who sent me. That word receive within the Ethiopic and the Hebraic is Kebele or Kabele. You understand? According to the Jews, but according to the Ethiopic, Kebele, which means to receive. You understand? So the higher level of the teaching, you understand, comes from our Ethiopian Hebraic roots. But because of our fall, you understand, the fall of us, fulfilling prophecy, Deuteronomy chapter 28, the Lord Sheep, the Beta Israel, and going into the West, we lost consciousness. We became unconscious. So until the coming of the King of Kings. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Greetings, brother. Shalom. The Lion of Judah shall break every chain and give I a victory. Salamta, Salamta, Taina, Taina is telling. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Greetings, my brothers. Shalom. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold what? The lion of the tribe. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed. He had won. He did not die. He did not get crucified. He had prevailed. Jesus prevailed. prevailed. To do what? what? To open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. You see?